Okay, guys, this is what happened. Um, I recorded about 40 minutes before this current episode that you're watching right now, but it was all so boring and nothing happened. I just kind of grinded for a little bit and then figured out that I forgot the town map. We got Flash, but we won't be using Flash. Uh, we got Squirtle, um, who evolved into a war turtle while we were going through Diglett's cave. But that's about it, and it, so I'm not going to bother putting that episode in. So uh, have fun watching the current episode, guys. Hello, everybody. Oh, God, I still have horrible heartburn. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow version. Um, so, yeah, this is a post-recording because... Uh, for some reason, okay, I recorded seven half an hour parts, okay, and the first five were fine, nothing happened, and then six and, s no, uh, the first four were okay, five and six, there was no sound on them, and seven worked again, really, like, you're gonna fuck me over like that, <laughs> Come on. I hate hypercam so, so much. It is like some of the worst. It, it is probably the worst program I have ever seen in my life. No matter, no matter if you pay for it or not, it doesn't make any difference. It's just a shit program. And Fraps takes up too much space. And it costs even more than hypercam. And freaking, don't even get me started on Camtasia. Oh my god, Camtasia's the worst pile of shit ever. It's, well, no, obviously not, because Hypercam is. But still, nothing, at least Hypercam works a little bit. Nothing works in Camtasia. Nothing. I mean, Jesus Christ. It's absolutely ridiculous. But Hypercam still takes the cake because they make you pay for it, and it only kind of works sometimes. Only when it feels like it, and then you can't fix it or change anything, and then you're fucked. So, yeah. Those are my thoughts today on this bullshit program. Freaking Hypercam. Ugh. What a waste of time. But, it's all I have, so... Yes, now we go back through the Diglett's cave. La -dee -da -dee -da. I recorded uh, an episode before this, or a couple episodes. A session. I recorded a session before this. That was also had no sound, and I wasted about 40 min minutes of my life doing the post recording for it, and nothing freaking happens the whole time. So yeah, don't expect to see that in the LP. I'll, I'll, uh, I'm gonna. I already have a pre recording that tells you what happens. So, so I don't need to tell you now. Or like a, it's gonna show up before the thing before you even see this so you'll have already you'll already know ah oh, the magic of movie making it's almost like time travel almost <laughs> movie making is almost like time travel the fuck is wrong with you man <laughs> jesus Causes almost as many continuity errors, though. This recording business. So, yeah, now I have to sit here for another 34 minutes commenting on something that I've already done. I hate post-commentary. Why does the world make me do it so much? Why? So, yeah. Oh, man. I was talking about some funny shit in this episode, too. I mean, I liked it. I thought it was pretty funny. So, so it probably wasn't whatsoever, and it would. <laughs> uh. So yeah, I've. Uh, did, no, because that didn't make it in. I've been uh, <laughs> a couple days ago. Actually, yesterday. No, no, it was. It was like last week. I. Uh, I, I was looking for uh, Final Fantasy X-2, just because just it's a fun game. I wanted to see how much it would be on eBay. I found one for $5, and uh, bid on it, 
there was about an hour left. I was like, oh, cool. So I uh, bid on it, came back an hour later. There was like five, six seconds left. Right when I see it get down to four seconds, the freaking, I get outbid. So I'm like, oh, shit. And I, tr I try as fast as I can to fucking bid again but nope I was beaten and like really who snipes a five dollar shitty game <laughs> like Final Fantasy X 2 really like the game's shit it's absolute shit don't ask well the only reason I'm buying it is because I found it for five dollars so I mean really what's five dollars it's worth the five dollars at least just because it's funny as hell <laughs> It's absolutely ridiculous and completely ruins all of the meaningful all of the meaningful messages that Final Fantasy X had. It totally ruins them all. But at least it's not as bad as thirteen. And yes, I have played both. I know thirteen is a pile of shit. I know it. I, it's not an opinion at this point. It's fact. It's fact. Because there's no reason for 13 to exist. Okay, for one, it's Final Hallway 13. Just, just like John Tron said, I can't, John. The game's playing itself. It's playing itself, John. Oh, God. That's Final Fantasy 13. It's... I love... I love when Final Fantasy XII came out. People people hated on it. I I kind of liked Final Fantasy XII. I mean, I didn't get to play it until very recently, but um, still, I liked the look of it and the characters seemed cool. And Fran was a sexy bitch, and uh, she she came into my dreams several times. I'll, I'll tell you that. But still, it and the story the story is my favorite part. It's so awesome. <laughs> Some people get pissed that it's like, it's a ripoff of Star Wars, dude. There's only seven stories that you can ever write, okay? Everything's a ripoff. <laughs> Star Wars is a ripoff of everything else. It's a ripoff of uh, so many different stories. The one that I'm thinking of is the Dark Crystal, but still, that's the most famous one that's Star Wars ripped off. But still, there's only so many stories you can write. There's something like seven different kinds of stories. Everything after that is just about the same. So, I mean, don't get your fucking panties in a bunch, you retard. No, you're not a retard. You're just a little special. That's all. So, yeah, and... What was I fucking talking about? Oh, my God! Um... Oh, the words, they fail me. I hate words. I really do. So yeah, uh, twelve. Um, uh, it's yeah. People were hating on twelve when it, uh, when like it first came out. I liked the look of it, and even though I didn't, I played the demo and I didn't like the battle system. I got used to it, like while I was playing the game. When I played the demo, I thought I would hate the battle system, but I got used to it while I was playing the game. It's actually a lot more in depth than I thought it was. I thought it would. I thought th this is this is pretty much the a good example. I thought that the battle system in 12 would be like the battle system in 10 to in us. In 12 would be like the battle system in 13, but it wasn't. It was good. So, yeah, people people don't didn't like the gambits. Uh, I know there are some challenges out there where you don't use gambits, but a lot of people didn't like the gambits. They're like, oh, well, the game plays itself, and I was just like. <laughs> Lol, what? <laughs> um, are you retarded or something, sir? Because the people that say that are retarded. Because the game can't play itself. You have to set your gambits. And you can't control everything in a battle. There's too much going on for this kind of battle system. You can't control everything. Gambits were a perfect way to be able to control your... To, to have your characters do what you want them to do and still be able to play the game and have fun and be able to see what's you know fucking going on instead of having this crazy shit going on but 13 for one you can only control one character okay that's retarded two 
um, the freaking game does play itself. You don't even have to set the gambits. It does play itself. Auto attack all the way. I beat that game with auto attack. I beat the game using nothing but auto attack. I didn't choose a single one of my abilities. No shit. No, absolutely no joke. I should do a, a <laughs> an LPA 13 where I do that. But yeah, the only oh, no, well, I'm not counting the Gestalt battles because you have to do special stuff for those. So I'm not gonna count those. By the way, the Gestalt the the Gestalt battles are fucking shit. <laughs> They're retarded. Like it's just I don't know. It's just retarded. Like why do I need to do that? Like I know you have to in the story you have to prove yourself to them or whatever but why does it have to be the way it is why do you have to get up their gestalt meter why does it matter and I never use them anyway I don't need them somehow they make the Lassie more powerful but what I don't I didn't use them once through the whole game second thing I hate about that game is it's too easy <laughs> Because you can get through the whole game using auto attack and running down hallways. Third thing I hate about that game is they tried to rip off a Calm Lands from, uh, <laughs> uh, from Final Fantasy X, except it's even more massive and retarded because they tried to add quests in it. And at that point in that game, do you really expect to be able to do anything outside of what they want you to do? No, you've resigned yourself to the fact that you'll just be running down a straight hallway for the rest of your gaming life. And so... Uh, fucking... Oh my god. And so then it just comes out of nowhere. Oh, we're on... Oh, what was it? Pulse? We're on Pulse now! Everything's open! Well, what the fuck? Why is it only on Pulse? They could obviously design levels that were massive and had you and were able to and that you were able to do multiple things and go multiple ways fight different enemies and do different shit why didn't they do that the rest of the fucking game <laughs> at least in 10 there are different ways to get places and like there are hidden items like you can if you look around everywhere you'll find different items like the albed primers and hidden treasure chests that you, sometimes you can't see at certain angles and the, the levels weren't completely linear either you had to and there were the uh, those awesome freaking puzzles in the uh, in the cloisters but well, I hated the cloister puzzles the first time I went through them, but now I I know th I know they're good puzzles. I always knew they were good puzzles, kind of. Um, but still, I hated them when I was going through them. It's, there's nothing like that in 13. Absolutely nothing. The characters are just ridiculous. They're so annoying. Vanille is just stupid. I mean, she's probably the character I liked the most, but I still hated her. The character that I um, hope has replaced uh, Cloud on my most hated characters of all time list uh, for Final Fantasy. It's Hope, oh my god. That is the most... Uh, people complained about Vaughn. Really? Vaughn is whiny? <laughs> I've played about six hours of that game. I haven't heard Vaughn whine once. He hasn't said anything. He's hardly said anything. He's barely even an important character. <laughs> Just barely. Freaking Hope? Oh my god. Hope. I hate him so much. And with the main character, Lightning, they went back to the Cloud and Squall bullshit. Hey, let's make them emo whiny bitches who one thing has, one bad thing has happened their entire life, and they go completely emo over it. There are fucking people out there who, like, Auron. Auron was never emo. His best friend and his other best friend died fighting, uh, died fighting 
an unsurmountable force just so that it could come back again later. He didn't get sad. He went for vengeance. He was like, fuck that, this shit's gonna end. And he completed what they set out to do. He kept to his goal and had a meaning in his life. But fucking Cloud and Squall, Squall more so, I hate Squall. Well, I don't know who I hate more, Cloud or Squall or Lightning. Man, I think Squall, because nothing's ever happened to Squall and he's already emo. At least Cloud has a reason to be emo, because he's a psychopath. <laughs> he's an absolute psychopath. He is so obsessed with with Zack that he pretends to be him and then convinces himself that he is him. How sick is that? How fucked up in the head is Cloud? Really? He's so crazy. So, he's not right in the head, so he has a reason to be emo. <laughs> and he's the one who killed Eris, too. <laughs> There's no way Eris was dead. <laughs> she flo- <laughs> or she sank. <laughs> Or, wait, no, did she... Oh, she floated for a second. That means there was air in her lungs, and she... Fucking, there was no blood. I don't know. I, I didn't even care about Eris's death when I first played that game. And I didn't know it was... Well, I kind of knew it was coming. But I figured it was, but nobody told me exactly what was going to happen. And I didn't even care. I'm not that much of a heartless bastard, either. I just... I hated her. She was annoying. She was the flower girl, and she never really did anything useful. I never used her in my party, because everyone's a blank slate in that game. It doesn't matter who you put in your party. Which, I kind of hate games like that. 12 did it okay, but 10 did it the best, because you can build those characters any way you want, but they still have their own purpose. That's what you need in games like that, where you can build and where you can build your characters differently. You need to have the characters have their own purpose in battle. They need to be able to do something that other people can't. They need to. Like, in 10, 10 was probably the perfect one because everyone had their own thing. Like Waka and, you know, you know what everybody can do. I'm sure you've played it before. And, uh, and 9, too. Nine, 9 was my favorite. Because it's just like, oh my god, that system is so perfect. The way with, where your equipped items give you different abilities. And depending on whatever equipped abilities you have, it can affect the outcome of a battle or what you can do. It's so awesome. Like, why didn't they ever do that before or after? It's just like, it's perfect, because you you need to equip your items anyway, so you're going to get some abilities, and it, uh, and you need to actually work to get your shit, and there are levels, I like levels <laughs> in games, that's the, my only problem with 10, is I can't tell where I stand in, uh, compared to the enemies, but I mean, it's, with a lot of these RPGs, it's just avatar strength. It's not really strategy. <laughs> it's just, that's what levels are usually for. It's just avatar strength. Like, the higher strength you are with your character, the more you can do. It doesn't really matter. So, yeah. But, yeah, no matter which way you look at it, 13 is a pile of shit. <laughs> Oh, man, I only rented that game because I knew it was going to suck. I just, uh Because I already knew they were planning on making, like, four of them, and I was like, oh, God. Usually when they make more than one, it's a piece of shit. Like, Final Fantasy VII, Dirge of Cerberus, and Crisis Core. God, those are all such terrible games. The whole seven mythos was just crap. It was, there was no characters. God, I, I hate 7. 7 is my least favorite. My most hated, not least favorite. It's, it's my most hated Final Fantasy game. I've played it, I've beaten it and everything. Actually, a couple times. But still, it's just not a good game. It's mediocre at best. People overhype it way too much. That's probably why I dislike it so much. 
just because everyone <laughs> I actually had someone say to me if you have I was uh, this was before I played Final Fantasy 7 they were like you haven't played Final Fantasy 7 well you can't call yourself a gamer and then I played it and I was like that dude's a fucking retard <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I've never played a worse game in my life. Well, until that was before 13 was around, so. Yeah. But, yeah. And then 13. I knew they were gonna plan more. I knew they had more than more than that one planned because my friend is, was obsessed with it, with Final Fantasy 13. I told him it was shit, and he was like, why would you say that? And I was like, because it's shit. And he was like, yeah, it kind of is. Even the people that love it still know it's bad. <laughs> the only reason he liked it is because it was the first Final Fantasy game he ever played, and he had never, he had nothing to compare it to. So, yeah. So I excused him for it, because I just, I just showed him nine. And uh, that fixed all the problems because he was like, wow, this is a lot better. <laughs> uh, it was kind of funny. And yes, 9 is better. It is the second best. I will concede that 10 is better. 10 is a lot better. <sighs> Excluding 10 too, because I don't even count that as part of the Final Fantasy series. I don't count any of the two games as part of the Final Fantasy series or any of the spin-offs. It's just the numbers. And I don't count 11 either because that wasn't even a fucking game. <laughs> that wasn't even a game. It was such a failure. Oh my god. Freaking 11. <laughs> oh man. There's a joke right there. They already have 14 planned, I think, and it's gonna be another crap MMO. Why do they keep giving the numbers to the MMOs? Nobody's, well, people are probably going to play them because there's a lot of stupid people out there, but, yeah. So, yeah, they. I knew they had more than one 13 planned, and uh, I, knew they, I knew they had 13 uh, verses and 13 Aggies Ho or something, and then I knew, that, I knew they were probably going to make 13 too. I heard something about a 13-3. Like, really? Are they really going to do that? I haven't heard anything about that besides this one person. Like, I, just, I don't know. They better not. <laughs> if they do, I'm never buying another Final Fantasy game. No, that's a lie. I probably will. But I won't give them my money for it. I'll bootleg it or steal it or something. I won't pay for it if they make 13-3. I'll play the games. I just won't buy them. <laughs> I just won't give Square my money. Because they suck. Oh, man. Wow. I haven't said a single thing about the video. 22 minutes. 10 minutes to go. Oh, uh, yeah, Scope has trouble with very simple things in this run. He's, he's not doing so hot. So, I think we need to evolve him to Charizard ASAP. At least that's just what I think. <laughs> but nobody cares what I think. Oh, <laughs> uh. God. I can't stop thinking about how much I hate 13 now. Uh, I played, I got it not hating it too. Like, because I read some reviews about it and I was like, uh, well, it sounds fun, if nothing else. It wasn't. It wasn't fun at all. <laughs> I had no fun playing the whole game. And the Gestalt battles were just even more annoying. And I had it for Xbox, so I had to switch discs. Because I'm too poor to afford a million dollar PlayStation 3. Sad face, but it sure saved me a lot of money in the long haul with good free online. God, Xbox sucks so bad. I hate my Xbox. And I hate Microsoft. I want a, I want a PlayStation 3, but I don't have the money for you. I guess if I sold my Xbox and got a PlayStation, I might be able to, like, pay for it. Sold all my games and shit. I might be able to get a PlayStation 3. 
but I don't know. I'm so reluctant to get rid of my. I have so I have a really high gamer score on Xbox. I don't want to lose it for my new trophy score. <laughs> uh, uh, trophies. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. the Xbox used to be good. They used to be so good that every other company decided to make something like them. Besides Nintendo. Nintendo is the only one that refuses to copy everybody else, which I respect them for that. They were the ones who got copied at when the freaking everybody's like, oh, connect! Oh, the what move PlayStation Move, which is just a blatant. I'm surprised Nintendo didn't sue for that because that's blatant and <laughs> freaking ripoff of Nintendo. That's just, it's, there's no two ways about it. And if you hold the controller upside down, it's a cock and balls. So, so it looks way more awkward than the Wiimote. <laughs> and don't even get me started on the shitty Kinect. You can't play games on a Kinect. You can't play games on a Kinect. And they want to try to integrate it into, like, every single niche that the freaking uh, that the, uh, every single nook and cranny of the Xbox, just, like, every single thing you go to, it's always, you see, connect, 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 yeah, connect a connect, or use your connect, or connect this, or connect that, which is spelled wrong every single time, because it's cooler that way, man, fuck you, Microsoft, I'm getting sick of you, I used to be a Microsoft fanboy, but ever since they fucked up Xbox Live, I, I just, no way, no way, I won't stick up for them anymore, I'm a Sony fanboy now, fuck them, and on Sony I can get Metal Gear Solid 4, so fuck you guys, so yeah, we're kind of grinding in this episode, but not really, because we have to go through here anyway, so, yeah, that's that, I guess, uh, oh, this episode's pretty boring, too. Man. Well, I'm kind of in blogging more. But, I mean, like, really talk... Oh, God. Talking about the episode when you're post-recording is just really boring. I'm... Like, why bother? Just talk about other shit. Well, I mean, mention things in the video, but don't... You don't need to just say, like, because I would be commenting, or I would be commentating completely differently if I was playing right now. Uh, but I can't, so. Anywho, though, this will be about two episodes, I think. No, a little bit under, two, it's about to be two episodes. So, yeah. God, why can't I post, isn't it... Don't you need a certain amount of views to post longer episodes? Like, why can't I do that? I had, well, had, like, 80 subscribers before YouTube decided to fuck me over and bring me back down to, like, what, like, 25 or something? I complained at them, though, and I got a whole bunch back. I'm at 60, I think. I think. I don't know. Not very many, so either way. And out of those, like, 60 people, I bet, like, three of them will watch the video. Maybe three of them. My, I had one subscriber that was B-Money. He was really cool. He was like my one like real fan. He was like cool, but I don't know. I don't know if he watches them anymore. I couldn't find him on my subscribers list, so I think he unsubscribed. Probably during that two month drought. But, well... That really sucks, too, because I had one regular subscriber, and now uh, he's gone, so I think he's gone. I don't know. I hope... If you're here, B-Money, come at me, bro. No, don't come at me, but you're cool. You're cool, man. I, there were some numbers after his name, too, but I forget what they are. 259 or something, 252. Two, there's A2 and A5 in it, but I don't know what order. So, so yeah. Um, uh, oh man, I gotta stop recording at 2 in the morning. Ugh. Fighting another junior trainer with a meowf. 
you know, I would think that freaking like electricity would be super effective against Meowth. He has metal on his head. That'll conduct the electricity. That'll hurt him. So like it should hurt him more. I wish they would put more time and effort into the weakness thing, into their weakness system, because, like, <laughs> there are some Pokemon that, like, even though their type is something, they really should be weak to something else. Like, Meowth should totally <laughs> be zapped by electricity way harder. Like, it should be based on that Pokemon, not on just all the types in general but I know they'll never do that. Pokemon already has its types, and fucking who is calling me? I am not going to answer that. And they're not going to leave a message either, so fuck them. Oh, well. Nobody ever loved you, Mr. Caller. Nobody ever loved you. Oh, dear. I am to be the ultimate trainer. No, I am the ultimate trainer. I am red, fool. Only gold can beat me. Only gold. He is the only trainer in the world that is at my skill level. <sighs> oh, Jesus. Oh, I need to stop yawning. That's not making for a good commentary. I kind of just want this episode to be over with. I mean, Christ, there's only like three minutes left. Come on! <laughs> Why am I... Oh, man. I just, I hate post-recording so much, but I can't just not record this episode because uh, things happen and I can't just skip parts in the LP, it's, uh, it's, this is, the, the kind of shit like this is the reason why I don't even LP that much anymore, like, really, like, everything has to go wrong, no matter what you do, everything has to go wrong, if you're, if you're trying, if you're gonna try to get an LPing and you're gonna start your LP, don't, it's a fucking waste of your time and everything will go wrong, I guarantee it. I guarantee fucking tee it. It's it. You won't like it. it won't, well, it'll be fun for a little while, but not for very long. Not when everything starts fucking up. Ugh. It's it's not worth it. Just watch other LPers. Don't don't start LPing yourself. And it's not like it's hard work or anything, but still, it's a waste of your time in the end. In the end, it's a waste of your time. So yeah, I think I'm going to end this episode right here because I can't think of anything to say. And I don't, It's there's only like two minutes left, so, and I don't want to watch the rest of this. So I will see you guys later.